I mean, I've been coming to Koh Tao for about 10 years and the community here, oh my God, they're just, they're, they're so beautiful and loving and it's a really peaceful place and I always really appreciated that. That's why I kept coming back. And that was, you know, years before I met Claire and Lucas. I think the main thing was coming back once Claire had moved here and sort of seeing how, you know, uh, her son, my godson, was being educated and, and the children around him and that it wasn't quite following the right standards and it was quite heartbreaking because a lot of his friends were disappearing off the island to be educated in other countries at better schools. So for me the most important thing was trying to change that and figuring out how we could do it and that's why me and Claire started working together. The not-for-profit aspect came in when I started to realise that most of the families were actually leaving because they couldn't afford a decent education. It wasn't even a priority, really. It was, it's, it's a priority to get your child through primary school. It's not even a priority here to get your child through high school, necessarily. It's, it's an achievement. As a mother, um, it broke my heart to see children being separated from their parents so young. It was sad to imagine that, that that was the only choice you had. And it seemed highly unnecessary with the expat community here. 